Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us, and I hope that you'll share this out on your social media platform. Very important that you do that. Uh, Facebook in recent days has decided that some of the things we're speaking of is too controversial for people. But I can tell you the next great event on the calendar of God will put their controversial statements into controversy because the next great event is the rapture of the church. We talk a lot about it here on Prophecy File Briefing. And the reason why is to help you and others to get prepared for what is going to take place. And it is sometimes seen by people, uh, the rapture, as an unprecedented event. Uh, sometimes just because the word rapture is not found in the Bible, people want to write it off or they want to regulate it to somebody's writing in the 1800s. But the Bible is very clear. The Apostle Paul made it very, very clear in the Word of God. And it's so important because in light of what's taking place in our world today, as you have heard me say before, uh, the edge of World War III is actually upon us with multiple uh, nations, including the United States, uh, at any moment, it's just sitting on the edge, it would seem, with Russia and uh, the Ukraine going on, with uh, now the heightened alerts that are taking place by our own United States government of the Hezbollah-Israeli uh, front breaking out and us sending another ship into that location from the United States. China and Taiwan are right on the edge, and as we are here in this election season, we're seeing a uh, situation that is continuing to boil up in the United States of America with uncertainty about the economy uh, and all kinds of things taking place. These are all events that are happening uh, in such an uh, unprecedented way as it was before in the United States and around the world to let us know that we are coming to a precipice of uh, a next great event. People are waiting on some kind of event to take place. What is that event as far as God's word concerns? I believe it to be the rapture of the church. I believe these signs are showing us uh, that Jesus Christ is about to return. And the only question is, are you ready? And are you helping other people to get ready? Now, when you talk about the rapture, the word rapture is not found in the Bible, but the Greek term harpazio is the word that is used to describe the rapture, the catching away, as it is written in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. But it is not an unprecedented event. In fact, from the very book of Genesis, we can see that there are several raptures that takes place that give us the foreshadowing, the uh, telling of things that are to come in the fact that the rapture will take place and that it is not an unprecedented event. For instance, uh, consider the rapture of Enoch as it is described in Genesis chapter 5. It's very interesting that up to that particular time, the words, and he died, uh, describing different individuals in the genealogy there in the, in the book of Genesis chapter number 5, is a certainly a uh, horrible and sad type of commentary taking place until he gets to this person called Enoch. Enoch is an individual, the Bible says, who walked with God uh, in the time period before the flood took place, before the flood that happened in, Noah, in Noah's day, and it was a very evil and violent day. In fact, we find the very word violence that is found there, that the world was filled with violence. That term in the Hebrew is the word Hamas. Can you imagine how relevant it is for us today? And yet right in the middle of that, the Bible says that Enoch walked with God and was not for God took him. What is that? It's the very first recorded rapture that's ever been uh, described there in the book of Genesis. In the book of Hebrews, it confirms Enoch's rapture uh, taken up to heaven because the Bible says by faith Enoch was taken up so that he would not see death and he was not found because God took him up for he obtained a witness that before he, uh, he, before he was taken up that his walk with God was pleasing to God. How important that it is that we have that clear understanding that that is a type and shadow of the rapture that is to come, snatching away. How about the rapture of Elijah? When the Bible describes in 2 Kings chapter 2, it came to pass while Elijah and Elisha were walking together, the Bible says that when he crossed over the Jordan River, suddenly a whirlwind takes place and snatches Elijah right off of the earth in front 
of his successor, Elisha. It is there that we see this next rapture as described in the Old Testament taking place. They were walking together and suddenly Elijah disappears. Then there is the rapture of the prophet Isaiah as described in Isaiah chapter number six. It records God calling Isaiah into the very presence of God and Isaiah sees God seated upon the throne and the majesty of the cherubim and the seraphim angels that are there and all that takes place works toward Isaiah hearing that call from God and Isaiah making himself available to God to use him to get the word of the kingdom out. How important that it is that we understand that this experience that Isaiah had is a foreshadowing of the rapture of the church being caught up into heaven. And it's important for you to note, while Enoch and Elijah were caught up in the heaven to stay, Isaiah comes back to earth to fulfill the call of God. How about the rapture of Philip in the New Testament? The Bible says in, a, in the book of Acts chapter number eight, he was caught up and then transferred to another location where the Ethiopian was. It's there that the fulfilled call of God takes place and then Philip disappears. This is another picture of the rapture. How about the rapture of the apostle Paul? It's one of the most incredible stories in the Bible where 2 Corinthians chapter 12 records that Paul is saying it in his own words, but describing it as a third person. He said, I knew a man uh, in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body or out of the body, I can't tell. But such a one was caught up. That's the term harpazio, raptured. And he begins to describe things that he's not even able to articulate in the scripture. The rapture of the apostle Paul. And then there is the rapture of Jesus, of course, where he is caught up by a cloud, the cloud of glory, and raised up even in the sight of those that are there as witnesses. Acts chapter number one very clearly describes what took place there. Revelation chapter number 12, verse number five, refers to that very ascension, and it uses the word harpazio, the word we get rapture from. And then there is the event called the rapture of the church. These six different raptures that are taking place that is actually uh, foreshadowing the last one, the rapture of the church, is not something that's unprecedented. It, when Noah was building the ark, you need to understand that he had never seen rain before, didn't know what rain was, and yet rain was going to come by the command of God. All he needed to do was get prepared for that great event. Question is, are you prepared for the rapture of the church? In 1 John chapter number three, it says this, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Note verse three, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. I want you to understand that God is telling us very clearly with all the events that are happening around the world to get ready because I'm going to return and when I do, I'm going to take every Bible-believing Christian off of this earth before the wrath of God is poured out. That is the plan of God. That is the rapture of the church. I hope you're ready. And until the next time we get together around God's Word, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon. Mm -hmm.